looks like I'm doing this video in two parts. Um, I had to delete the other one that didn't post originally. So, um, part two of what I was just saying. Um, I'm sorry the community has been brought involved in this. You know, this should have been handled personally. And, again, I wish I would have known about it even sooner. Because then I could have done what I could sooner. Um... There's been no reconciliation. There's been nothing that's been able to be done on a part. And I'm sorry for that, for that, you know, even when it has said that, you know, things aren't wanting to move on and, you know, and they've been unable to. And I'm sorry that, you know, that's the way they feel. It also sends into another issue that around the contest, around SS Silver Leather. You know, and I, again, I do everything authentically. I own my part. I own my shit in all that I do. So I have no problem, you know, being vulnerable. I have no problem admitting my faults. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's all I've ever done is be authentic as much as I can, especially when I am got out of my addiction. So that's what I will continue to do without dragging others through things either you know I will you can talk about me you could slam me you could drag my name through the mud you know it's been done before by people and I'm okay with that because you know I won't return the favor you know even if you think I'm talking about you then you know for whatever reason then you might want to check your sources and I'm this is to anybody in the community because I don't I know how it feels to be hurt. I know how it feels to be gossiped about. And it's one thing I don't do. You know, my leather heart, my sobriety does not allow me to do it. And no, I don't work a perfect program. But it's all I can say and all I can do is do the best I can with integrity. Um, when it came to a t title being removed, uh, it wasn't for personal reasons. It wasn't for issues I had with them or what was going on. It was advised by leaders within my community um, who have watched behavior uh, and actions. You know, even by leaders who don't believe in removing titles, which I don't either, that saw that there's irreconcilable differences around the organization itself as well as not wanting to fulfill complete commitments and change where they thought the rules were on how what they need to do for the title year. Um, it was a hard decision to make, and it's not something I made lightly. I was torn apart making it too. Um, and it hurt. It hurt to be having to do that because, you know, the person has a great potential in life. I see her to becoming, she, not just becoming because she already is, She's um, a leather woman with heart, and, you know, I see her doing a lot of great for the community. And, you know, and all has nothing but respect for me, uh, from me, um, sorry, has nothing but respect from me. And, you know, I wish nothing but the best. But due to, and I've been there in my own life, you know, taking people hostage within among fellow title holders. And this is, again, you know, being what people are coming back to me from leaders in the community telling me is something that as a leader of this organization, which 